your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, can you call me back? It's urgent. is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, can you call me back? It's urgent. You are not safe there. Let me help you. We are reporting a tragic domestic massacre. Just two days ago, on February 3rd, 1961, a horrific murder took place in a family home in the small town of Centralia, Pennsylvania. Neighbors described the family as quiet and peaceful, but police reports tell a different story. The family members were brutally slaughtered with a kitchen knife. The police report the events as follows. The youngest daughter went into the kitchen while her mother was preparing dinner she took the knife from her mother's hand, seemingly to help with the meal. Moments later, the mother's agonized screams echoed through the house, and the rest of the family rushed toward the kitchen to find the... Call me back? It's urgent. You are not safe there. Let me help you. Look, you are not alone in there. Pick up the phone. and the rest of the family rushed toward the kitchen only to find the youngest, Madison 20, who was also the assailant, standing next to her mother, covered in blood. As they screamed, the eldest sister, Emily, attempted to intervene, but Madison stabbed at her in the abdomen. It was later revealed that Emily was pregnant at the time. The other sisters fled toward the front door, only to discover that Madison had already locked it. Neighbors reported hearing their desperate screams. It's not my fault. He told me to do it.
I told you to pick up the phone. You have to let me help you. There is someone else in there other than you. Another sister, Olivia, who tried to force open the locked door and shouted for the neighbors to help, was stabbed in the back of the neck by Madison. It was later revealed that Olivia, who collapsed to the floor, was set to start college this year and had excelled in her studies. Neighbors reported that Olivia's cries abruptly stopped, followed by Madison's words. It's too late now. I have to do everything he say. How many times I've tried this, but please, just listen to me. If something's wrong, if the order is broken, take the left door. I'm holding the door in the right hallway for you, but I don't know how much longer I can keep it close. Go across and look out the window. You'll understand what I mean. The body of the last sister was found in her room. It was determined that the door had been forced open, and Abigail had been stabbed eight times in the chest and abdomen. Neighbors reported hearing Abigail's screams during the incident. At that time, they also stated that they had forced open the outer door.
outside. Door, through, radio, speak. She, no, notice. You are safe here. Always choose this path. Inside. 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 Inside, 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 inside. you. I'm the guy at the walkie-talkie and radio. You believed her words, didn't you? She controls you like a puppet with her lies and appearance. Just because I don't look like you doesn't make me a monster. She is the real monster. She manipulated you at every step. Didn't you notice? Someone who thought about your well-being for a moment would show you what was behind the right door instead of saying, don't go to the right door. This crooked world and the changes that catch your eye, every cycle serves her. She draws you to a more crooked place where she can digest you. So, which you are, which you is really you, Never use the left door. Use the right door. No matter what. He's tricking you to drag you inside. This way. Move. 